both from Alpha is steadily building up pretty detailed knowledge on a lot of kinds of topics. So for example, let's ask it, what's the uh, fish production in France? Now it'll give me the result. And uh, if I scroll down, it says that uh, that's an average of about 56.78 pounds per second, which is about one fifth the rate of trash production in New York City. Well, let's try saying, um, let's try asking Wolfram Alpha to compare the rate of fish production in France versus Poland. So now Wolfram Alpha is giving us a comparison and then plotting the two time series together and so on. How about something different? Let's uh, ask about food. Let's ask Wolfram Alpha, what's in two cups of orange juice? So now Wolfram Alpha will synthesize a nutrition label, then it'll tell us all sorts of information about the high nutrients in orange juice and how orange juice compares with other foods and so on. Let's change it a bit. Let's say two cups of orange juice plus one slice of cheddar cheese. Now Wolfram Alpha can do the computation to figure out what the nutrition label for that content of that as a whole is. Let's try a few other things. This is a crossword puzzle kind of thing. What words match that particular pattern of letters? Or let's say we ask about Mount Everest. Wolfram Alpha can tell us lots of things like uh, what the typical atmospheric pressure is at the top of Mount Everest, or what nearby cities are, and so on. But here, let's ask a little bit more detail. Let's say, what's the height of Mount Everest? Let's say, divided by the length of the Golden Gate Bridge. This is now comparing two quite different things. Um, but Wolfram Alpha is able to compute the result and there show us the details of how it got that result. How about uh, another kind of thing? Let's ask Wolfram Alpha to tell us the uh, third largest country in Europe. Now it'll give us several results by area, by population, by GDP, and so on. Or how about this? Let's ask GDP versus railway length in Europe. So now Wolfram Alpha will make a scatter plot of the correlation between GDP and railway length for all the countries in Europe. Or something like this. Let's ask, what, who was the president of Brazil in 1922? So it can compute that. Well, here's some fun. How about uh, we type in a name, like Andrew? So this tells us the popularity of Andrew for baby names as a function of time. And uh, down here, we see that Wolfram Alpha can estimate from that how many Andrews there are likely to be alive in the US at this time, and uh, it can show what their distribution of ages is. How about we compare that uh, with Paul, for example? And here's the result. Pretty different profile in this particular case of these two names. Well, there's, there's a lot we can do. So here's another piece of math, for example asking about uh, what's the chance to get uh, two heads out of 10 coin flips. Or let's give Wolfram Alpha a sequence. It can then go and figure out uh, how that sequence could continue and what its mathematical formula could be. Well, there's all kinds of things we can do. I mean, here's a, a typical Wolfram Alpha kind of thing. I'll ask about the International Space Station. And Wolfram Alpha will get the updated orbital elements from its database then solve the differential equations to work out where the, the ISS is right now. And the answer is that it's uh, over the South Pacific, traveling at about 17,000 miles an hour, and so on. And there are lots of other details about the orbit that we can work out if we want to. So what's in Wolfram Alpha? Well, if you go to the Examples tab up here, you can see some of the general subject areas that Wolfram Alpha covers. It's already a very big system, but right now we're really just at the beginning. I mean, Wolfram Alpha is a really a long-term project. We're trying to take as much of the world's knowledge as possible and make it computable, taking all the data and methods and models and algorithms that have been accumulated in our civilization and make them immediately computable so that anyone anywhere can just go to the web and use all that knowledge to compute answers to their specific questions. You know, I wasn't sure Wolfram Alpha was going to be possible at all, but we're proud of where it's got so far, and we're looking forward to everything that can be done with it now. I hope you'll find good ways to incorporate Wolfram Alpha as it is today and as it grows in the future into all sorts of things you do, and perhaps that you'll become part of the Wolfram Alpha community, helping to use our technology to make the world's knowledge computable for everyone. Thank you.